Bine, să ne mincăm în ceasă. Hello, gentlemen. Bine, să ne mincăm în ceasă. Hello, gentlemen. Gandang hapon po. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Good evening. Hello, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Dr. Raila, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Nasa abroad pa kayo? Good evening. Dr. Raila, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Nasa abroad pa kayo? Good evening. Ito lang ako sa ano, Filipino. Ano yan? May feedback yung ano mo? Yung recording mo dyan? Wala po. Parang nage-echo eh. So, it's about uh, two minutes to two. So, shall we start at two? Tapos magdadatingan na yung mga guests po natin. Ano ba ito? Nag-alive sa Facebook mo? Or ano? Naka-live ba to sa Facebook mo, J? Sir J? Oh, naka-live po. Naka-live po ta sa may live Facebook tayo, di ba? At the same time, may Zoom tayo. And then, uh, nire-record natin to and after which i-upload natin sa YouTube. Uh, pag ano po natin yan sa YouTube, you could uh, all uh, uh, what you might call it, uh, view it later on. So, ilan tayo? We have about five participants already. Nasaan na si uh, Madam uh, President? Nandiyan wala pa, no? Tapos si Cherry, si Sir Red, at saka si Sir Harold. Ganda lang kasi ng background mo. Ako wala akong background kasi kaya mahina yung laptop kong ito. Walang background. So I'll I have already you know uh, searched your Facebook live and also shared with it. No? Anim na tayo na sa waiting room is si Tommy. So, sino po po? So, nandiyan dyan na si Engineer Joey Ortega. Magandang uh, hapon sa iyo, Engineer Joey. Good afternoon, Sir Jay. Good afternoon. Salamat sa ano sa invitation. Engineer Joey, hindi ko tamadinig. Ayos, Sir Jay. Good afternoon. 
May problem yata sa Hello? speaker. Good afternoon. Narinig namin siya, uh, JJ. Baka yung audio Please, mo. Uh, ano po, i-acknowledge nyo lang po kung nadidinig nyo ako. Time natin magano. So, as I've said kanina, meron akong dalawang computer. Yung isang uh, aking engineer, uh, production assistant, si uh, Christian. Nakita ko na si Dr. Red o si Engineer Red uh, Rayla, si Engineer Joey Ortega, si Engineer Harold uh, Engineer Harold Borja, si Engineer Ray, no? si Engineer Ray uh, Simborio, at saka si Tommy. Si Tommy po, kayo po ay uh, official din po ba ng ano ng uh... Okay, acknowledge lang po kung nadidinig niyo ako. Nadidinig ka namin, Sir J. Thank you. We can hear you, Sir J. Loud and clear ka rito, Engineer J. Thank you very much, Sir. So, tell me when we could start to ready and uh, para po ano, uh, maano natin, no? Simulan na natin po ang ating uh, awarding ceremonies at uh, Gisa, kontakin niyo na si ano si Mamay Mamaya si uh, Director Binag no. Si Gisa dapat nakapasok ka rin, bigyan mo ng link. Meron, meron. O magpakita ka naka ano ka, naka t-shirt ka. Eh. Andiyan na po. Andiyan na rin po si uh, Congressman Mark Oanco. Uh, Congressman Mark, uh, magandang hapon po. Tayo po ngayon ay nasa Tokay Awards na pangunguna po ni uh, 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 Engineer Red Lyra. Uh, Andiyan po sila. Nakaano po pa sila. No? Good afternoon po, Congressman. Si Director Binag, is you ready para masimulan natin ng ano? Good afternoon, Congressman. So right now, I feel like we need casual Good afternoon. Sir Mark, Congressman Mark. Yes. Congressman, looking... Uh, Looking young. Magulo, magulo. <laughs> Always looking young, Congressman. At uh, nandiyan dyan, nag-chat na sa inyo sila, ayun na, si, uh, si Engineer Ryla. Ryla. Sige po. At uh, tayo mag-pleasantries muna at magdadag sa Ana. Engineer, uh, Congressman Mark, uh, Engineer Joey Ortega, ikaw ay uh, Terminal Manager sa Petron na... Uh, Ano ba yun? EPSA Rosario. Please show yourself para ma-acknowledge ka ni Congressman Mark na nandiyan na rin. Yun. Hello. Yun po. Uh, siya po ang terminal manager dyan sa uh, Petron na uh, EPSA. At nandiyan na rin po si Engineer uh, Harold. No? Si Engineer Harold Bora po. Mga professional mechanical engineer. No? Yeah. Magpapagawa po tayo ng uh, air conditioning unit sa po uh, HVAC designer, no? Talaga, talaga. Andi dito na rin yata si Director Binag. Nakita ko na yung O-Center, ano eh. Uh, O-Center uh, Occupational Safety and Health Center uh, logo eh. Good afternoon, Isa, Director. I-chat mo nga. So, ang wala pa si Engineer Maria... Maria Ann Pulido. Ina si Director Binag. Magandang hapon po, Director Binag. Good afternoon po. Iyanis lang po natin ng ano, ito pong uh, ito po, eh, hindi pa tayo medyo nakano, pero ang uh, sasabihin ko na para maintindihan nila, Engineer Red, ikaw na nga kaya magsabi ng what does uh, TOKA E means, ha? Uh, Para po pakakalaman kasi tinatanong po sa akin ni Director Binag at ni Congressman Mark uh, a while ago. Uh, is, is this already a time for me to start? We have not started yet anyway, but for the benefit of our 
very on and very energetic very highly you know, good person in, in the OS center and to our congressman who are all here despite of the you know the difficulties of time they are here good afternoon to each yung mga guapo at mga nating mga sa government no? So, TUCA A stands for 10 Outstanding Cebu Architects and Engineers. We are this group of professionals accredited by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Being registered, we are given the task to promote with the primary purpose of providing the necessary means to, to recognize those professionals who are deserving to be recognized in their fields, whatever the fields of profession they might be, you know? from the practice of safety, from engineering, from the architectural group, as well as other professions that might be happen to recognize, to be recognized by our group, will give them such an honor or award. So I'm very happy that we are being blessed to have with us to, uh, this afternoon, our very own director, Binag, and as well as Congressman Mark, no? to, to as well recognize us in a way from the government side, no? since we are in a private practice, we are a private corporation, you know? we form as a group, and our coverage is not just, uh, coverage is mainly uh, nationwide, we cover all the different regions in the Philippines, and this will be our fifth awarding ceremony, so thank you uh, Mr. J for inviting us. To na, uh, this afternoon, and I hope this will be a fruitful you know, event for everyone. So I think that's all about uh, Tuka A, and probably later on it will be expounded more as we will present and we'll take the question and answer forum from our participants as well. So thank you, and looking forward to more discussions this afternoon. Did you hear me, Jay? Sir Jay? Did we have time on the evening? And I didn't go for an appointment. An appointment, engineer. A post up, a post up on a speech. And the Nandalikin, tinitignan ko kasi tayong pumapasok. Inacknowledge ko lang si Brad Pitt. Kumukonect sa atin si Brad Pitt at si Rock Aurelio. Kasi di ba ako ang uh, administrator nyo eh. So, uh, Brad Pitt, okay ka na ba? Kumu nakakonect na eh. Nandiyan dyan eh. Di ba? Nasa ano na si Brad Pitt eh. Nasa loob na pero wala pa. So, shall we start? Shall we go with the... Uh, Program, uh, Engineer Rana, should we start now? But uh, I do not see yet. I do not see yet si Engineer Maria Ana Pulido. Wala po si Engineer Ana Pulido. Nakakontakt na. Ka-Facebook natin din si Engineer Pulido, di ba? Ipakaya naman, napadala naman natin ng link. So, ito, nasa waiting room na. Ito, tinitignan ko po. Nandiyan na nasa waiting room natin. Ito si sa Unilever po, kung ano natin, naging guest din natin si, ano, you know, kasamaan po ito ni, uh, you know, ni Mr. Uh, Sulano. Jester, magandang hapon. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Shall we start now with uh, our uh, program, Engineer Raila, and then, uh, kasi meron pa tayong national anthem, meron pa tayong, ano, because this is an awarding ceremony. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. 
I would now lead po ating, uh, uh, we start first with the innovation and then our uh, national anthem. Uh, as we all we said, let's all start with the prayer. Let us all bow down our heads and let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, guide us and guide these talented, gifted people and their organization will be able to share their knowledge, expertise, skills, and experience so as we may be able to face the new challenges in these pandemic times. May we all be able to use our talents that you have given us so as we could have a better environment we would be able to plan, manage our family, community, and our country's problems. May we be able to develop a better world for all of us. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Uh, let's proceed with the national anthem. Sandali lang po. Okay, being the master of ceremonies here and the MC, I would like to start. I would like to open this program. I, uh, I would like to express my profound appreciation and thanks, appreciation and thanks to the uh, Tokai organization and its founder, engineer, uh, Red Raila. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be of service to your organization and to be the host of the awardees. Now, our rules are simple. Uh, let us all practice politeness and uh, we will give uh, certain minutes to people. There will be an awarding. There will be a question and answer of uh, what is Tokai all about and uh, in view of this, I would like to uh, greet also, and uh, here are the names. The president of Tokae is Engineer Maria Ana Pulido. Uh, she's the national president of Tokae Professionals Inc. She's a civil engineer by profession and an environmental planner and a vice president of the Integrated Institute of Environmental Planning. 
Next is the executive vice president is uh, Gideon Balesteros, a professional mechanical engineer. He has his own company. He has worked for the San Miguel Corporation for the last 15 years. The internal vice president is uh, engineer Edgar De La Cruz Guerra, a professional mechanical engineer also. He has his own company and the national vice president of the uh, Philippine Society of Mechanical Engineers. He, the, another uh, one is the uh, national secretary. He's also a professional mechanical engineer. He's a reviewer and owner uh, of that comp of uh, his reviewing company. He's a mechanical and uh, HVAC designer and a national vice president of the Philippine Solar Energy Society. The treasurer is Cristituto Nunez, a mechanical engineer. He's a manager in the Ports Authority and the owner and president of his review center. The uh, public relations officer and auditor is Joe Ray, a certified project management professional, a former director of the PMI Philippine chapter and a board of trustees of the Philippine Solar in Engine uh, Energy Society. The advisors are which? Attorney Rachel Ruby, a real estate broker. And lastly, uh, architect Janish Garol, the immediate past district director of the United Architects of the Philippines uh, Regional District C1. She also has her own company. And next is Milagros Cañete, a doctor of management, a principal for uh, a teaching school. And of course, as uh, we have said earlier, the founder of this group. And uh, he is no other than uh, Redentor, or we call him Red Raila. He's a professional mechanical engineer, an Asian engineer, an ASEAN chartered uh, professional engineer, a master plumber. He is also an OS practitioner, a certified energy manager, and the immediate past pres president and founder of the Philippine Solar Energy oh. Society and the former president, charter president of the Philippine Society of Mechanical Engineers, Kuwait chapter. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. At uh, ito po ang ating uh, programa po na tutuloy po natin. Ito po ay awarding si Wardy. In-invite po natin. May mga speaker po tayo. But before we go to that, eh, magkaroon lang muna tayo ng isang uh, tanong no? na o natagot na po nito o yung iba kasi katulad hindi pa natatanong you know? uh, para kay President Pulido ano po ba ang ano ang uh, uh, keynote speaker po rin natin siya no? si uh, President uh, Engineer Ana Pulido Paki open lang po inyong mic and be recognized Engineer Pulido go ahead oh, po Sir Jay can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay. Hello. And hello to uh, fellow officers of FAKAE. Good afternoon. And to all your viewers today. Um, so, am I allowed to speak now? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh. Okay. Uh, do we have the congressman already and all our, the director of OSH, of uh, OSHC? Uh, and everyone here, uh, your viewers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. So it's indeed my um, honor and privilege uh, to have met all of you uh, in this very important event of Tokae, uh, our launching uh, of the uh, awards 2021. It's a kickoff uh, event. Thank you for accommodating us, Sir Jay. So as the president of this year's Tokae, we have... Uh, convened to exercise due diligence uh, as far as the selection of the individuals who are promising and you know the serving to be recognized in their respective fields. So this year we are embarking in various programs as well that uh, would enhance our goals, uh, community uh, community engagements, and then preparing programs also uh, in in coordination or in collaboration in any manner with government. Of, of course, other, we welcome partnerships also with private sector and the academe. 
And uh, it's indeed a noble mission to uphold the ideals of professionalism uh, and its positive impact to the society and the overall economic development. So thank you everyone for um, participating and for inviting us over. Uh, and we would also love to hear also from other guests this afternoon uh, as we talk all the different issues uh, where professionals are, are you know, very relevant uh, to solving, providing solutions, and providing uh, transformative leadership uh, in various professional fields. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Engineer Maria Ana Pulido, for uh, your uh, uh, keynote speech. Again, we would like now to go on to the uh, director of the Occupational Safety and Health no other than Director and Engineer Noel Binag. Good afternoon po, Director. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Uh, kay Congressman Mark Wang po who is with us. Sir, uh, naimbag na mali mo nga po. <laughs> uh, so the officers of this uh, association, Tokay, uh, Ma'am Maria, good afternoon ma'am, and to the rest, uh, Sir, Sir Red. Good afternoon po. And to the, our guests who are with us this afternoon, kami po sa Occupational Safety and Health Center are really happy to always uh, attend this kind of forum because we would, what we would like to, to promote is our advocacy, like uh, uh, safety and health of, uh, in the workplace. And we rely on engineers and architects like you to help us uh, promote safety and health in the workplace. I know you have a big role to play in the promotion of safety and health, uh, especially mechanical engineers, uh, electrical engineers, civil engineers, because the one of the require important re uh, mandatory requirements now of the Department of Labor and Employment that is uh, there's a need for us to submit an OSH program prior to any execution or prosecution of any kind of project. So I just would like to remind everyone who are engage in actively engage in the business of construction that I hope you are aware of the legal requirements that we need to get and pre-approve uh, programs prior to execution of any projects. And aside from that, uh, I also would like to remind our engineers and architects that you are also our partners in the, in the conduct of our inspections like PSI. We call it technical safety inspection, wherein our mechanical engineers and electrical engineers are required to perform uh, safety safety inspection like boilers, uh, pressure vessels, combustible uh, combustion engines, and and others elevators. So we rather we 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 in the Dole we rely on your expertise and your experience to help us ensure that the workplace is safe from all kinds of uh, hazards, safety hazards, and health hazards. And this week, we just celebrated the uh, World Day for Safety and Health at work. So we are here because of uh, we, what we would like to see. Is we would like to see that everyone can anticipate, prepare, and respond to all kinds of crises, especially during this pandemic period, in order for our enterprises to remain uh, productive and avoiding too much lockdown. As you all know, one of the reasons why we encounter a lot of lockdowns, work, workplace lockdowns, is because of non-observance of safety and health protocols. So we rely, we rely on you to help us disseminate in course, in critical OS information so that uh, uh, our workers are always uh, mindful of the dangers in their workplaces. So sa inyo pong lahat, architects and engineers, again, we seek your support. We, we seek your help in promoting a uh, safe and a healthy environment for all workers. Sa inyo pong lahat, magandang hapon po. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Sir Brad Pitt. Maraming salamat sa inyo pong lahat. Uh, mabuti po, kakasama po ulit tayo. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, uh, Engineer Noel Binag, ang pinakamasipag na naging director dyan sa Occupational Health Center. Kita nyo naman. Pag tinawag natin si Engineer Binag, ayan po. At sabi nga niya, uh, Engineer Red, eh, ikaw ay eh, practitioner na. So siguro, practicein natin lagi ang safety. 
At uh, maraming salamat. At, uh, at uh, ngayon, ang uh, susunod po natin na magbibigay ng speech din na uh, ang aking kaibigan na uh, co-host tuwing Sabado, ang komedyanteng negosyante, si Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, magbigay ka nga na iyong mga uh, uh, inspirational speech sa mga kasama nating arkitekto at uh, ininev. Inspirational. Sige Brad Pitt, you're on air. Nakamute ka. Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Hi, uh, hello. Good afternoon to everyone. And uh, inspirational speech. <laughs> Wala, salim po sala ako rito. And uh, good afternoon sa inyo lahat. Hi sa lahat ng nandito. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Pero Brad Pitt, ta, iba yung impact mo kasi sa mga, alam mo, ang safety ay eh, magmula, hindi lang sa mga matatalino, katulad ni Engineer Red at ni Congressman Coanco at ni uh, uh, Director Binag at ni Engineer Harold at ni Engineer Pulido at ni lahat kayo, Engineer Rotega, lahat po kayo ay eh, kasama sa safety. Ngayon po, ang ating pong uh, nag-confirm na na on a very, very swift uh, advice na ginawa ko. Maraming salamat. I-introduce ko po ang ating susunod na guest na isa po siyang negosyante, politiko, pilantropo. Uh, handsome enough to be a movie actor kasi nakita ko na siya yung personal dan sa may Ayala Alabang. Uh, katangkad mo, halos kasing tangkad mo, uh, Engineer Binag. Mga halos 5'11", 6 footer si Engineer Binag. Eh. Eh, Nadodwarp ako sa inyong dalawa. Eh. So without further ado, the congressman and uh, the Pro Nuclear Energy Advocate, Congressman Marco Anko. Good afternoon po. Good afternoon. Uh, Unang-una po, uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa Tokae for uh, inviting me to, he- to say a few words uh, this afternoon, lalong-lalo na kay uh, Engineer Jay, who I have come to know and has become a friend of mine uh, in my advocacy to, to push, uh, to promote nuclear power in the Philippines. Uh, gusto ko pong uh, batiin ng uh, founder ng uh, uh, Tokae, si Engineer Red uh, Raila. And uh, I'd like to greet your president, uh, Engineer Maria Ana Pulido. Are you from Pangasinan, ma'am? Pulido? Sa Tagaanda ba kayo? O sa Ayan, mga, province tigas... po. <laughs> oh. Again, Valley. Uh, Ilocano. I see, I see. I see. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I'd like to greet all your other, all the other officers of Tokai mentioned uh, by Engineer Jay. Uh, I could not write your names down fast enough. Pagpasensya uh, na po ako. I'd like to to greet and uh, uh, see Director uh, Engineer Noel Binag of the Occupational Safety and, he- and Health Commission, ba po or center? Uh, is it? Uh, is it? A- Center po. Center. Center. Um, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, I've been a nuclear advocate for over 13 years now. Ever ever since I filed uh, House Bill 4631 in the 12th Congress. Uh, final ko po ang bill na yon dahil at that time may impending crisis ng kuryente. Uh, at nandun yung uh, nalaman ko na bayad na ang ating DNPP as of August uh, 2007, fully paid. We paid a total of 2.12 billion US dollars for that plant. And it's 100% complete. Uh, it's in very good condition. Uh, nangihinayang po ang marami kung bakit po hindi yan ginagamit. Uh, bakit ko po tinutulak ang nuclear power sa Pilipinas? May potential po na magbigay sa atin ng, ng kuryente na kalahati ang presyo because it is intrinsically cheap. Hindi po siya gumagamit ng combustion, gumagamit po siya ng fission. So iba, ibang iba po ang, ang proseso uh, ng kanyang paglikha ng, ng init at kuryente. Ang big difference po, ang isang jeepney worth na fuel sa loob po ng isang labing walong buwan ay katumbas po ng limang put isang 
50,000 tons na barkong punong-puno ng coal. Yan po ang comparison dyan. May potential po tayong magtipid ng $600 million every year per gigawatt of installed capacity. Ang sabi po ng NEDA, 30 gigawatts na po tayo by 2030. Ilang bilyong, uh, ilang bilyong dollars po ang masisave natin ng ating katas OFW, ang ating foreign exchange na pinaghihirapang kitahin ng ating mga kamagana abroad kung may nuclear po tayo. Ang nuclear po ay emissions free, makaka ma mapepreserve po, mapoprotektahan ng ating kalikasan kung nuclear po tayo. Uh, mas malinis pa po ito sa solar and wind. At bagamat malinis, rel reliable pa. Hindi nawawala kapag gabi, hindi nawawala kapag uh, walang hangin. At hindi umaasa sa natural gas uh, para sa kanyang backup. So, siya po ang nagbibigay ng pinakamalaking energy security sa ating bansa. Uh, dahil uh, hindi po kailangan niyang barko-barkong panggatong, uh, isang eroplanong maliit lang, isang 737, ay eh, kaya maghatid ng fuel good for uh, three, four and a half years. Kung ang pag-uusapan po ay occupational health and safety, uh, i-search nyo po sa OSHA, sa Amerika, uh, yung organization nila for occupational uh, safety and health. Uh, ang nuclear worker po ay may less casualties than yung mga stock traders sa Wall Street. Ganun, ganun po siya kasi It is uh, among the, if not the safest industry as far as occupational safety is concerned in America. So, bakit po ganito napakataas po ng standards ng nuclear? Sa, uh, sa structure pa lang niya, uh, 0.4G sa Pacific Ring of Fire dito sa atin, doble, mahigit doble kaysa yung nuclear plants. Uh, in uh, non-earthquake areas. So, ang tindi po ng uh, safety ng uh, nuclear plant. Total mortality of nuclear in, the, it's in, it's in its entire 60-year history, 60 plus years history, uh, is less than 50 people. So, wala pang limang po po ang namatay. Kasali na po dyan ang Chernobyl. Wala pong namatay sa TMI, wala pong namatay sa, sa Fukushima. And so with that po, uh, I hope, uh, I think uh, uh, if we have half price electricity and we save that many dollars a year uh, in our fuel bill, uh, may pag-asa pong uh, umunlad talaga ang ating ekonomiya, magkaroon ng maraming mamuhunan sa Pilipinas, magtayo ng mga industriya, at uh, gaganda po ang buhay, dadami po ang trabaho. So that is the, the, the core reason why ito pong grupo na itinatag ko ang uh, non-profit Alpas Pinas uh, ay tumutulak ng nuclear power in the Philippines. We are going around now the uh, coastal provinces of Luzon trying to convince provinces to host nuclear power plants for the for the Philippines uh, ang sinabi po namin in exchange for that we in your national government na bigyan kayo ng libreng kuryente for the entire 80 year life of the nuclear plant so yung po kung sa tingin ko pag libre ang kuryente sa isang probinsya at least yung generate generating charge then uh, it would be the most progressive province among its neighbors. And that would really shine a bright light on nuclear power as an engine for good in the Philippines. Yun lang po mga kaibigan, maraming salamat sa oras ninyo, sa pagdinig uh, nyo po sa akin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman Marco Wanko. And I hope uh, 
All about safety. Could, uh, by the way, all about safety is distributing Congressman Mark Coanco uh, T-shirt. I hope uh, GISA could show himself uh, with uh, the nuclear energy is clean energy. At meron pong chat dito si uh, Engineer Red uh, Raila na Tokae will be sending approved resolution by its board in support of nuclear power and recognizing the roles of engineers and architects in doing the same. Maraming salamat sa'yo, Engineer Raila. So we are here on different, uh, sabi nga nila, no? we are here on different ideas, different ideologies, but we're here on one purpose only, is to be of service and for the betterment of the lives of the Filipinos by themselves. So thank you very much again. Uh, Congressman, may sasabihin ka pa? Congressman? Yes, Engineer Jay, I have another Zoom meeting at 3. Uh, baka hindi na ako makaparticipate sa inyong uh, question and answer. Pero I'd just like to extend to the group my willingness to appear in an open forum with you, Zoom, at any time in the future uh, where you might ask uh, all the questions you want. I think we really need to compare nuclear to wind and solar and how they can work together. Uh, what are the constraints? Uh, yun po, uh, I'm willing to have a, 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 a uh, uh, spend time and answer all your questions. Hindi lang po today, medyo gipit ng oras. Okay. Yun lang po. Yeah. We understand it, Congressman. Okay. Yes. Uh, but yung present nyo po, yung pagsasabi nyo is more than enough sa atin. At, uh, Thank you. Sino man ang ano, at, uh, uh, ano uh, we are very democratic. <laughs> Sige po, so without further ado, let's now go on to our uh, interviews with our uh, Tokai members. Ano? So... We have prepared here kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao eh alam ang gano'n. So, President Puli, uh, Pulido or Engineer Maria Ana Pulido, what is Tokae? No? And uh, please tell us about it. Ano po ba yung Tokae ninyo? Uh, yeah. uh, well, we have, ano, uh, we have a vision. Uh, yeah, Tokae is an acronym uh, that stands for Outstanding Cebu Architects and Engineers. Uh, this is an award-giving body with nationwide coverage. Although it nakalagay Cebu, but you know it has a nationwide coverage introduced in 2018 by a small group of professionals and then from different backgrounds, engineers, architects, and allied professionals. And then we just grew uh, for uh, I'm not sure how many of us already, uh, but. Uh, in, this is an award, uh, in this awarding activity, uh, professionals are recognized, uh, specifically those who contributed significant engineering, architecture, and allied professional fields. So in 2021, uh, Tokae has become a SEC registered corporation to become a provider also of technical trainings and education programs in those fields that I just mentioned. Uh, however, it remains primarily as an award-giving body as its main advocacy to give recognition to qualified professionals. Ayan. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Engineer Pulido. Yeah. So, tanong ko naman kay Engineer Red, how does Tokae, you know, selects these awardees? Paano po ba yan? Kasi may mga award kayo. How do you select your uh, awardees in your organization? Uh, Nakamute ka, uh, Engineer Raila. Nakamute ka. Okay, thank you, Jay, for that question. So regarding criteria, which is uh, inherent to all awarding body, so in the case of Tuka E Award, we have our own established criteria. First, we have to really put the criteria into uh, confidentiality in the, in the Tuka E Awards. So it's highly confidential in the manner of judging its criteria. So during the competition, we call it a uh, competition wise, the awards committee selects a panel of judges. So the judges might be coming from different industry. They are called upon to, but 
normally the judges will come from, of, of course, the respective pool of the previous Tukai awardees, no? from different award being, uh, uh, coming from different industries, who are distinguished experts in their fields, no? just like field in architecture, engineering, or other profession for that matter. Of course, the Tukai will hear the final presentation of the judges and select the winners. The only persons to have access is the professional who would normally deal with the confidential information. So all the judges will be asked to exercise the same respect for any confidentiality aspects of the submissions as they would in their own professional activities. They need to sign a Tukai non-disclosure agreement. Huh? And what are the specifics that the judges are looking for? What are What is the specific judge criteria? Huh? First, we have to consider the knowledge of each awardee. The knowledge pertains to the degree and its educational achievement, no? its professional equipment, which can have or attain at least 25% given from that knowledge alone. No? Second, we have the competence, which is based mainly on the technical feasibility, clearly demonstrated that is about a weight of 20%. And third is technology. So you would like to seek that the professional can think out outside the box and also tries to upgrade the level of his profession all the time. And that constitutes 15% of the overall judging criteria. No? And fourth, of course, he should have the skills. Skills that are included are the creative values, the ingenuity to research, programs, etc. And that's another 10%. And next is the success in industry or in the business. Now, when we are looking for individuals or professionals, we should have already been su successful in this area in terms of social and economic representation. That's another 10%. And second to the last, of course, we have to consider the attitude. No? So these are very basic requirements that he has the behavioral approach, good behavior, behavioral approach. And of course, added to that, a good critical thinker, a critical thinking mind another 10%. And last but not the least is he should have a good strategy uh, in coming up with success in his professional endeavor. Added to that is innovative ideas no? from ideas that governs from original concept down and up to refining all the ideas. And that's totally sum up to 100%. This will take a common package added to become a 100% technical merit or viability and commercial relations strategy, which is inherent to the party and not clearly inherent to a non-technical party. Above qualities are vital for Tukai future program as well as maintain its overall purpose. I think that's all uh, for the criteria. Thank you, Suji. Thank you very much, uh, Engineer Raila. I think I already have a candidate for you. Uh, my good friend, uh, uh, Isko Brad Pitt Salvador, has a lot of ideas. Brad Pitt, pwede, pwede ka pala dito sa Tokai. Huh? Ang idea mo, uh, one of its kind. And second, uh, ano ko, eh, si Congressman Mark. Ang daming idea ni Congressman Mark. Eh. May hiya lang yan si Congressman Mark, may present sa ating bulatang programa eh. Kaya lang, siyempre, ito ka eh, day ito eh. So, na, medyo na pinigilan. So, ang daming idea ni Congressman Mark. So, 
Thank you very much again, uh, Engineer Ayla. So I would like to go on to this one. Uh, Engineer Harold naman, si uh, Engineer Harold uh, Borja is also a mechanical engineer by profession, di ba? What are the upcoming events po? Ano po ba ang balak niyo dyan sa Tokae? Ano ba ang mga maasa naming ma magagawa niyo mga events? Yes, Sir Jay. Good afternoon. Uh, present afternoon also to our beloved Congressman Mark Kohanko and our uh, OSH uh, Director, uh, uh, Sir Noel Dinag. And to the rest of the officers of Tukai and uh, all the attendees right now. And to the viewers of your Facebook page and the YouTube. Yes, uh, we are, we from Tukai, we are very uh, uh, proud to uh, be invited in this uh, uh, Press release for Tukai in your program, Sir Jay. And if you would like to allow me to share my screen in order to show to you, to everyone, uh, the different awardees that Tukai has come up with. Okay. Uh, can you allow me to show my screen, Sir Jay? Wait, Lampo. Okay. I will give you a note. Make your Thank you very much, sir. You, you can share. Yes, sir. Okay. So, with regards to the question that you have raised up a while ago, uh, which says that uh, when is the uh, awarding ceremony for Tukai, if Tukai come up with uh, the set of awardees? Okay, so in here on the screen, as you can notice, uh, Tukai have decided that we are going to have our awarding ceremony comes June 18 of this year, 2021. And on the screen also, you can see uh, the set of national officers for Tukai, as well as the board of advisors. Okay, and so uh, the Tukai have decided already uh, the 10 outstanding uh, Cebu Architects Engineers for this uh, June. First of, uh, on the list is Engineer Augusto Augusto. Uh, he is an envir environmental planner and he is awarded uh, on this category uh, that falls on business and environment. Second, we have Dr. Uh, Rachel uh, Aurelio or Raj Aurelio. Uh, she is uh, awarded on the category under engineering and management. I guess uh, Dr. Ratz is an IE, no? industrial engineer by profession. And then we do have also uh, engineer well, Magdusa Bibero. Uh, he is a professional uh, electrical engineer and his award falls on the category on consultancy and engineering. And then fourth, we do have Dr. Josipino Basco. He is also an environmental planner and his award uh, falls under sustainable development and environmental engineering uh, for water resources management. Uh, fifth on the line, we do have uh, the regional director of TISDA in the person of Dr. Gamaliel Vicente Jr. Okay. And his uh, award falls on the category on public service and governance. Then we do have also a uh, senatorial candidate uh, last uh, election in the person of uh, Madam Malilin Emily. And the category is under community service and development as well. Seventh, we do have uh, engineer uh, Vincent Lee. So uh, the uh, Tukai uh, committees have come up uh, to give him uh, a category which is leadership and communication. Then eight, we do have attorney Matt Eric Medallier uh, under administration of law and justice. And then we do have architect Vanessa 
uh, Rivera Ailon. Uh, uh, she is uh, uh, the category is under architecture engineering. And last but not the least is engineer uh, uh, Jose Alfonso Barizo. Again, he is also an environmental planner and uh, the category is on infrastructure policy and governance. So as you can see, uh, our awardees are coming from the different fields of engineering and uh, professions. And on their field, uh, they have proven themselves that uh, uh, they have the capabilities and the skills and the knowledge as well uh, to be uh, uh, awarded such uh, awards coming from Tukai. And that's it, uh, Sir Jay. And back to you, Sir Jay. Thank you. Awardee. Uh, thank you very much. Para kami na uh, sana gusto rin namin ni Brad Pitt na maging awardee dyan eh. Brad Pitt, pwede ba tayo maging awardee? <laughs> Why uh, not? <laughs> ba, ba, ayan, di ba? Kasi sinabi nga eh, mga ideas, mga ano, ang dami. Pero siguro sa meron kayo sa gurong kategorya, Engineer Harold Bora for entertainment. Ayan naman. And uh, community service. Uh, uh, Herman na... Uh, Isko Salvador, a.k.a. Brad Pitt. So, ano yun po? Let's go naman po dito kay uh, another question po sa kay Engineer Nunez, no? Engineer Nunez, may... Ah, oh, hindi pa pala kay Engineer Nunez. Kay Engineer Gidon pa po na po pala. Uh, Engineer Gidon, uh, are you there? Yung, is, will Engineer Gidon uh, open this video uh, to be recognized? Wala pa yata si Engineer Gidon. No, I don't see him. So kung wala, so sino kaya po pwede natin tanungin ng mga different committees po ng uh, Tukae? Ah, yeah, I can I can answer na lang for that, uh, yes, Sir Jay. Sige po. Uh, there are about nine uh, standing committees uh, within Tukae. Of course, we have the executive uh, committee uh, which it acts on behalf of the full board so its main purpose is to facilitate decision making between board meetings or in urgent and crisis circumstances also membership uh, we keep track of that keeps track of uh, members uh, create strategies to keep members active and highly involved um, then we also have finance uh, it provides also aside from collection from mem members that we will soon we still have to uh, for it uh, but also uh, it has the task to provide financial analysis advice and oversight of the organizational budget awards and recognition that's the main thing for us and then strategic partnerships uh, it's about a co it's a standing committee that strengthens and foster existing and potential partnerships and relationships with both public and private organizations. We have outreach and advocacy. This will be also our CSR, the corporate, uh, yeah, our CSR for Takae, PM also, which stands for knowledge management, which will provide for uh, yeah, a, a system that will tie up all our tasks, our functions. And then education, research, and innovation. Uh, you know, we we are comprised of engineers, ar architects, so we're all innovators in our own right. And so uh, this committee it will be. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, activating this committee, which we call education, research, and innovation. And of course, lastly, we have uh, ethics and grievance uh, to make sure that all the members and the officers and all our external partners uh, that, uh, are, you know, acting uh, with high degree of professionalism. So those are the nine committees within Papa SRJ. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Engineer Polito. So 
uh, uh, si Engineer Gidon yung sinasabi ko kasi I have a question for him about the different committees nga po. Uh, yun, no? yung kanya. No? So sinagot nyo na, uh, Engineer Pulido. Si Engineer Nunez po, itatanungin ko naman po sana kaya sila ng uh, upcoming uh, projects po ng Tokai at ng kanya pong advocacy. Sino po po pwede namang uh, sumagot uh, in view of uh, Engineer uh, Nunez? Siguro po. Uh, si Red siguro. Si Red. Uh, Engineer Red, kayo na po sumagot dito po ng inyong pong mga upcoming project po ng Tokay and your uh, advocacy po. Yes, uh, thank you again, Sir Jay, and uh, to our participants. For uh, our first project, we do mainly our regular program like awarding, which will which will uh, present this coming June 18, 2021. And aside from that, we'll be doing a lot of things, but uh, basically we have to deal it one by one because of the time constraint, the conditions that constrain us from doing. No? But uh, hopefully we can do a lot, some research program, any kind of research that would uh, be developed and uh, all the members will be somehow uh, participating in and come up with a good result in the area for research. And I think that would be a good uh, aspect as being a Tukai and aside from that we'll be conducting a sort of uh, research not just research but uh, other energy related programs in line with one of our managed corporation which is the Philippine Solar Energy Society so we'll be doing probably the leadership of Engineer Polido come up with a better projects like waste management project as we initiated the discussion on the biomass uh, engineering. And aside from that, uh, since that Tukai already convened the 10 outstanding safety professionals, which we also be doing, but we have also another sets of officers and board of trustees will be doing the safety, the 10 outstanding safety professionals this coming July 2021. So hopefully we can, we can already push through on that. And uh, of course, part of our all about safety, the 10 outstanding safety professionals will be delivering a lot of things about safety. And I think that is a promise soon to be seen later on. And uh, Hopefully we can also partake with your Friday, no? Friday presentation that then a Sunday safety professional will be there no? to present themselves. Who are those oh, consultants and all us practitioners are members, our officers and the board of trustees of, of the group. And lastly, Tukai will be doing continuous training program not just on the field of safety, but also other practicable areas like the engineering and architecture itself. And of course, Tokai will be busy doing uh, management of their subsidiaries. No? We have some, uh, we have formed some subsidiaries under the umbrella of Tokai in, uh, in its secondary purpose, which is to educate people, to inform people and uh, of course, uh, increase the level of you know, uh, professional uh, competence in this area. Of course, that's the main goal of Tukai, and I hope that with all the help of this uh, officership and the leaders, somehow can can come up with these uh, dreams and aspirations one day. So, thank you for that very nice question, Mr. Jay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that is very, very good to know that uh, Tokai is, uh, wants to have the OSH consultants, practitioners uh, 
to be recognized too. And I think that's a very noble vision that uh, the engineering profession is really uh, into it to promote uh, safety and health. Uh, nowadays, there is, we have been pandemic times. Kailangan po natin yan. Uh, we don't have to know uh, <laughs> or we don't have to be like India. <laughs> we don't have to invent the wheel. It's already there. Marami pong salamat sa inyo pong vision na uh, Engineer Ryla. So, Isang-isa pa, no? yung pagkatapos sa project nyo po. No? Yung, eh, alam nyo naman po, no? yung, ang mahirap po ngayon is uh, dissemination of uh, your information. Ano? So I believe uh, is the Vice President for External uh, Engineer Mandy or uh, uh, Amado Diaz. Is he around? Ano po ba mga paano yung magdi-disseminate itong mga questions na to? Sino po ang pwedeng sumagot sa sa ano? Sino po I want to answer in behalf of Peter Mandy. But before I go to that uh, I would like to state that we have already convened the first 10 outstanding safety professionals award last okay. January 2021. And also in answer to behalf of in Germany, uh, of course, we'll attend to numerous undertaking. Uh, there are a lot of other organizations, satellite organization, and in fact, accredited professional organization, organization from PRC. So we'll be there to support this industry as an industry partner. Uh, it's one of our tasks also. We also strive to engage with other professional organization to uplift to KAE. So one of these is now being connected with RG's program, no? G Perez program is one of to KAE's uh, way of, of uh, promoting ourselves, no? Embracing with radio station like the WDB also in our upcoming pro in your upcoming program. So that would be a big boost to on our part and expand also our coverage. So thank you, Sir Jay, for that uh, another question. Well, that's a very wonderful information already, uh, Engineer Ed. And uh, talaga, we, kami ni Brad Pitt na nasa media lang. We, anyway, isa pang ano, medyo ito, off question. Para more or less, hindi naman tayo maging uh, monolistic dito na ano. Paano ba kami, katulad kami ni Brad Pitt, paano ba kami maging membro ba ng uh, Tokae? Kung gusto namin maging ano, membro niyo. Kasi I could see may mga abogado kayo. I could see may mga iba-ibang profession kayo. Meron kayong uh, nasa ano eh. Yung isa po si Milagros Cañete. Uh, she is in the teaching profession. Kami ni Brad Pitt, paano po kami maging membro? Paano ang gagawin namin? Yeah, there is a membership under our organization we have also officers and and board of advisors mm -hmm. so in the end that in the event that uh, we need more competent people in the area of safety in the, in the area of public information of course we can call uh, people like jpl or or brad p to help up on the on, on this manner on this area so that's that's not a problem so you can just keep in touch with uh, our very own president, General Maria Antolido. So you can be probably one of its advisors or members. Or, actually, we have an annual meeting and at the same time, we'll have an annual election of new sets of officers and board of trustees. So probably being a part of that advisory first, and then later on, you can be one of the officers and board of trustees. So from there, you can now raise your voice, what you are going to implement in the Tukai that will be ratified by the group. So that will be considered as implemented. So that's how, how, we, how we we join our group. No? Actually, now we are already connected. So I don't think there will be some reason for you not to become part of our, actually you are already you are already now 
considered as one of the members of our family to Kae. Huh? Is, that, is that okay? Yeah. Salamay maraming salamat po, uh, Engineer Red. Do. Thank you po. So, I would like also to uh, acknowledge the present ng isang dati namin naging guest na I think he's working right now in Australia, no? Si Engineer John Paul Soliano. Engineer Soliano, how is it there in Australia? And good, good afternoon. Hello, sir. Good afternoon po. Thank you sa pangungulit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maraming salamat po sa pag-invite uh, dito sa TOCA Zoom nyo. Uh, kamusta sa lahat? Sana lahat ay okay at safe. Maraming salamat po. Of course, I'd like to acknowledge also the presence of some of our uh, Tukai Awardees for the upcoming Tukai Awarding this coming June. Of course, we have here Gas Agusto. You have just recently been recognized and I think you are already uh, congratulated for having passed is that the uh, examination for a real estate broker. And also we have Dr. Raj Aurelio. Can you come out with your camera? One of, of also one of our distinguished uh, awardee and honorary for this coming to Kai Awarding uh, in June to come. So I think that would be all, uh, Sir Jay. Okay, uh, so ayan po. No? So I believe na with this organization, ma magandang, could you open your mic po, uh, Sir Gas, para naman po madinig namin kayo at uh, ma-record namin kayo at ma-upload natin to sa YouTube. There we go. Uh, sige po, be uh, Magandang hapon at uh, maraming salamat sa ton dito po sa inyo at nalulugod po akong makilala. Lalo na si Brad Pitt. Alien, alien po ako dati. <laughs> may, may, may bibili na naman ng honey, keso at uh, ukulele. At, uh, hindi nga po, ha, pag, yung, pag nag-guest si Engineer Ryla, ang pangako ng All About Safety, E eh, dadalang kayo ng mga produkto ni Brad Pitt. Eh, kape. Uh, at ina, gamitin na natin ng konting commercial dito, Brad Pitt. Ang uh, kape na lasang? Brad, fans po ako ni Brad Pitt. No? Sa Alien Alien. Ah. Brad ah. Pitt, promote mo na yung product mo yes. ng kape. Andi dyan ka na. Ito po, ah. yung ating iskopi. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, maganda yan. Hmm. Lasang langit. O, oh, kita nyo na. Oh. Lasang yeah, langit. Para makapag-isip. Uh, invento ng bagong makina yung mga yan, di ba? Mga magagaling na engineer. Hindi lang sila registered na engineer. Yes. Professional pa, Brad Pitt. Professional mechanical, yes, professional yes. electrical. Yes. Yung isa ka, nasa Australia. Oh. Nandun doon sa ano natin, no? inom ng inom ng kape. Oh. Si, natatanda mo, naging guest natin na si Engineer Solano. Yes. Yes, hmm. yes. Yes. Kamusta po, Sir Patir? Ay, sa'yo. Tinanong ko. Oo, oh, tama. Natatanda ko si Soliano kasi dati may PBA. player ng oh. ano. Jesse Soliano. Yes. Tsaka national national ano, athlete, basketball player. Oo. Oh, kasi matanda ka na, Brad. Jesse Soliano, yes. Hindi na inabot yes. si <laughs> Engineer Rayla yun at ni Engineer Pulido yun si Jesse Soliano. 1970 Mukha na. Mukha. <laughs> where can, where can you buy that product? product, Brad Pitt? Ayan, Brad Pitt. Okay, kay Sir J po, kay Sir J na lang. Ah. Magkaka-friends na po tayo, i-upload eh. nyo lang yan. At ano, at uh, kung nasa, huwag ka lang nasa kagayan na uh, Engineer Polito. <laughs> at hindi kita madidilibira ng... Uh, Nalayo. <laughs> si Engineer Ryla, kung nandito lang sa Maynila yan, ay, unang guest, guest natin yan bukas eh. Tapos sa susunod na Sabado, ah, okay. yan, makikita mga kagapuhan niya. Hindi ko ka nakita mukhang movie actor yan si Engineer Ryla. Oo nga. Tisoy. Tisoy. Tisoy eh. Oo nga. Magaling na lalaki. Oh. Ay, lalo na si Engineer Harold. Pagka, kung kailangan mo palamigin yung ap, ang bahay ni Brad Pitt, apat na palagpag. 
So kailangan kailangan ng air conditioning doon na ah, engineer Harold. Paki-kapitan mo pa ng malalaking three tanner yan at i uh, Brad Pitt mira mo pag air ko niya ng bahay mo. Ha? Ah, si engineer Gas, ano yung ko lang unang konti at ah, ano po ang uh, profession ni Sir Gas na hindi ko nakakatanda kanina eh. State consultant po ako at uh, real estate appraiser at the same time environmental planner po. Ah, katulad ni engineer po, mga environmental planner po kayo, no? Hi, guys. Hi, press. Uh, sa real estate, ano? Eh, yan si Brad Pitt, eh. Pag nawala na yung pandemya, eh, babalik na naman yung celebrity blap, yung uh, kanyang, uh, ano ba yan, yung alien mo. Dapat may ano tayo, producer na tayo, eh. Kukuha tayo ng sponsor ng mga yan, ha? <laughs> So, Mata mataas yung level ng comedy niya, no, Sir Jay? Si Brad. Oh, intellectual lang po nakaka-intindi oh. sa kanya. Ay. Yes. Kaya hindi raw nakaka-intindi <laughs> sa kanya, hindi raw po ihinero 'yon. Kaya <laughs> okay, arkitekto. Dapat dapat mataas yung IQ. Correct <laughs> po. Kasi yung taas na po ng engineer po ni uh, Ray Rayla. Meron pa ho dito hindi nagsasalita ay si Tommy Marquez with you. Uh, Sir Tommy, could you want to be recognized at i-video niyo at magsalita po kayo para hindi naman ma maging monotonous tayo, medyo maging sabi nga ni Engineer Ryla, member na raw kami ng pamilya ninyo para makita namin kayo. Hello po, good afternoon. Gwapong gwapo naman pala si Engineer Tommy. Bagay na po eh. <laughs> Ano ang nasa job site ka? Nasa trabaho ka ba, Tommy? Uh, dito po sa Timonan Power Plant Project po ng Meralco. Uh, nandito po ako sa office ngayon. Uh, umatin po ako ng uh, ano po natin, uh, commencement po. Mm. Okay. Maraming maraming Pali. salamat sa ano si... Sino pa ba hindi natin nakikita? Ay, binanggit kanina na awardee nga si Rock Aurelio. Uh, sir ba si, o si Ma'am si Rock? Hindi ko ano, no? Is she a he or a... Uh, ayun! Napakaganda pala. Hi! Hello, Rock. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. My name is Rach. Yeah, you can call me Rach. Actually, it's a short for Rachel. Pero pwede rin pong Tagalog, Rock. Rakitera. <laughs> <laughs> eh, uh, kayo po ay eh, awardee din po, sabi po ni uh, Engineer Ryla. Sa ano po oh, kategory? Po. Sa anong kategory po? Management and Engineering. Manage Brad Pitt. O, kita mo na. Dumadami na. Hindi na tayo maghahanap ng guest. O, maganda. Pwede po mamay guest ito sa, ano, sa Channel 7, Brad Pitt. Si Kung gusto niya. Tsaka oh. <laughs> kung, kung makalate lang ang talent eh. Baka, yeah. mal, baka mahal yan, baka mahal yan. Management and engineering ang ano, yung, uh, planning talaga ito eh. Nahihirapan tayo. Meron pa isa na ano natin, na para lahat. Sino si Mr. Ano? Leo... Leo Mi. Mr. Leo Mi, could you open your video and turn Hello. on your mic so you could be recognized by the Tokai uh, presidents and officers? Mr. Leo Mi, could you hear me? Hello? Hello? Wala, naka, naka ano po kayo, Sir Leo Mi, nakamute kayo. Pumunta muna tayo sa kabila. Eh, Rean. Rean na uh, Kotamora. Ma'am, Ma'am Rean. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon po sa, sa lahat. Hello, sir. Good afternoon sa lahat ng nandito ngayon. Maraming salamat po sa pagano. At ayan, binabati na kayo ni ano ni Engineer Rayla. Engineer Rayla, ito si Rean. Actually, uh, Sir Jay, itong si Rian, ito yung ano natin Board of Trustee na currently with under 10 outstanding safety professional together with uh, 
Sir Tommy Marquez is also uh, they are they are both I think OSP practitioner na. They are one of the 10 outstanding CP uh, practitioner or professional which were awarded last January and they are now the current officers of the 10 outstanding CP. Just like to Kai, we come up with an idea of in outstanding safety. And these are the people now behind also this program. Of course, we'll be doing a lot of programs with you later on. And these people like OS consultant, our president, Levi Noel, and uh, these people are already the officers like Tom Marcus, Ianto Tamora, and I think some more are not yet here. But later on, we'll have that uh, introduced to you. No? And I think next Friday, uh, Sir Jay. Thank you. Yes, ito na, nandiyan dyan na si Mr. Leo Mi, na isa rin palang uh, awardee for safety. Sige, Mr. Leo, go ahead. Unmute nyo na po sarili nyo. Ah, yes, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Uh, you're on air now. We could hear you, Sir Leo. Uh, good afternoon. I'm glad to see Brad Pitt, <laughs> my idol. <laughs> oh, Brad Pitt, idol ka ni Leo Mi. Eh, ano na yan? <laughs> Say hi. Shout out. <laughs> hi, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Shout out. Nakamute ka, Brad Pitt. Nakamute ka. Sorry, ni tumawag eh. Hello. Ano ulit 'yon? Ano ka? Uh, idol ka raw ni Mr. Leo Mi, awardee siya sa safety. May ano? Eh idol ka raw niya. Ah, okay. Matalino kayo. Matalino kayo, sir. Naintindihan niyo yung comedy ko. Matalino kayo, sir. Congratulations. Matalino ka, Sir Brad Pitt sa comedy. <laughs> Nakalokohan, sir. <laughs> kung nag-engineer ka pa, Brad Pitt, sa inyo, sir, sa... Brad Pitt, kung nag-engineer, kasi iba yung kinuha oh. mo eh. Iba yung kinuha mo sa ano eh. Ano, ano, eh. Uh, mas kung oh. kaya tao, ano, kung communicate, uh, John, kung yes. nag-engineer ka, ano ba dapat ang kukunin mo na engineering? Um, yung <laughs> engineer future, Engineer future. Hindi, <laughs> hindi. <laughs> um, <laughs> siguro ang ano, kukunin ko yung ano, electrical. Electrical. Bakit? Electrical? O kaya, e, e, o kaya ECE. ECE? Bakit? Ba Bakit? Oh. Bakit? Bakit? <laughs> Kasi yun daw yung pinakamadali. Kasi ECE. ECE. <laughs> Very easy ang ECE. Yeah. 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 Talaga. Hindi, may hirap yun. May hirap yun. Basta, hirap kasi ako sa ano, mat. So... May training ba ng ano, you know, being komedyante? <laughs> Meron din ano, workshop or... Training? Wala po. Organic ah, lang, organic po. skills. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Ako po, nagkukundak ako ng comedy writing workshop. Ah, So, yes, I do. <laughs> Mahirap. Yeah. Kung wala kang talent, o di ba, Harold? Red, ikaw kaya meron? O si... Meron, si meron siya. Si ANP Gas. <laughs> yeah. I'd like also to acknowledge and recognize that Leo Mikado, Leo Mi, is also a past honorary of our Tukai. I think uh, you are... 2019 ba ito, Leo? 2019 nga batch, no? And, uh, yes, sir, 2019. Yeah, he's June. a structural engineer at the same time. Of course, a civil engineer by profession. And he's all doing the Philippine Solar Energy Society as one of the officer and board of trustee. And hopefully, we can also get in touch with Sir J talking about energy na naman. So, I don't know which you are going to put out in your Friday or Saturday event, but hopefully all the people behind Philippine Solar Energy will be there for you also.
That's very nice, Engineer Raila. We would be happy. Brad Pitt and I would be very happy to to be of service and to you know to to lend our ears to hear you talk. To you uh, all, good looking and uh, oh, intelligent yeah. engineers. Mayon, may nakita pa ako nag-open na siya ng kanyang video. Uh, si Ray Simborio. Si Ray, i ano niyo po? Ano niyo yung sarili niyo to be recognized naman po? Seray, nakamute po kayo, Seray. Hello. Uh, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for acknowledging me. So, nandito lang ako sa Cebu. Uh, actually, kaibigan na kami ni Engineer Red. Yung, yung ano, on there na. Hello, okay, oh, Engineer Red. Asa man dapit sir sa Cebu? Asa man dapit ba? Sa uh, within the city, Labangon, Cebu City. Asa ah, city. Okay, mga ako hmm. mga parientes diyan sa Tuburan. My mother is from Tuburan, Cebu. Uh, ah, yes. After from 1946 to 1956, she was there and they migrated to Manila in 1957 <laughs> where she met na my Nakoy gi the yeah, project diha nga di manager sa so, uh, I have I have project there in Tuburan uh, which is uh, from the Pink Sister yung may ginagawa kami na ano diyan na uh, parang facility sa mga ano nila uh, mga uh, yung mga clienti nila na ano nung pasyente nila na mga uh, parang iriha nila ba okay so nag nandoon doon sa may Bagasawi Tuburan Cebu. So, palagi ako nagpunta doon. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, dala, uh, mm. Are you a civil engineer? Are you an architect, uh, Ray? Uh, I am a professional mechanical engineer. Then, mm. uh, I go into project management sa construction. And then okay. I have my own company as consultancy. So right now I have also uh, So that's it. Ayun, uh, maganda ho yung inyong asosasyon na tinatog ng inyong founder na si Engineer Raila. And uh Kaya kasi sir, I'm I'm I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Kaya nga, I'm so happy nga na ano ako uh, yung yung information na galing kay Congressman Cuangco so very interesting mm. for us so maybe in the near future uh, we can uh, maka ano tayo maka dagdag tayo ng mga information output dito sa ano siguro Tokai yes yes uh, we need all the energy we need hydro we need solar we need uh, geothermal yes we need coal. We are a developing country, so more or less. And if our children, I remember, I'm, I'm very much older than you, but you know, in the 1970s, there were a lot of Iranians that were here in the Philippines studying. Yes, yes. And mm. right now they are building their first nuclear power plant. Eh, tayo, eh, yes. So that's what I'm asking. So. Tayo, ano, tayo. So, na tayo. So. Anyway, uh, with you engineers around, with the professional engineers around, and uh, ano pa, eh, maganda po yung ano eh, yung sino pa ba hindi ko natatanong na ano, uh, I think, natanong na po si Engineer Mandy, no? Wala, wala po si Engineer Mandy, di ba? Para ano, hindi naka-attend si Engineer Mandy. Para... Si Engineer Mandy, Mandy Diaz, ano? pero natanong ko na lahat. Eh. So, alam nyo, um, ito po kasing organisasyon nyo, nung nabasa ko, natanong ko nga kay Engineer Randy, ano, Randy Red, Raila, na lahat po, marami, prep, SOPI, merong ASPI sa safety, ah. meron naman sa, yan, ganyan, yung, uh, uh, ano ba yun, the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, halo-halo, which may, may mga abogado. We need a group like this where we, which, you know, we have to develop, uh, educate our young people. And I think 
kayo na nandiyan dyan na being a uh, professional engineers, professional electrical architects, uh, you are at the peak of your career na maayos po natin to na ano at uh, maayos natin. And imagine, we need a lot, no? Ito nga, idol ko nga to si si Engineer Joey Ortega. Dapat po, Engineer Joey, pupunta ako, magbibigay ako ng t-shirt kasi yung kasama niya, si Engineer Joey. Ortega, nandiyan ka pa ba? Bibigay ko sa'yo ng t-shirt kasi yung kasama niya, we are from Pandakan ni, wala na, niyan pa ni Brad Pitt. We are from Pandakan. Tabi namin yung mga planta ng Shell, Petron, Caltex, Bobby Oil. Nandun doon yung dati niyang kasama si Emerson Tierra. Nasa engineering kasi ang, di ba, Joey? Amusta ka na? Ayos na sir. Sorry sir, ha? may call lang ako na na... na ano, eh, wala. Napapag-usapan lang namin yung, ano, yung uh, inyong organization. We need an, uh, a group like this to disseminate to ano. Brad Pitt, si Engineer Joe Ortega, Tega Petron eh. Si kasama niya si Emerson Tierra na uh, nandun doon dati sa Pandakan, mga corporate safety manager ng Pandakan. Eh di ba tayong dalawa no. Tega Pandakan? Tanong ka. Yes, tanong ko lang bakit binenta yung Petron? <laughs> Tsaka sino nagbenta? <laughs> Brad Pitt, yun ang hindi ko masagot eh. <laughs> Uh, nasa ano yun, anong deregulation uh, sa time ni, di ba, sa time pa nung ano, uh, uh, nung deregulation law, uh, nilipa. Ito pa ako. Uh, Binenta, tapos uh, after the time ni PGMA, uh, na, pa yung, yung portion ng government, binenta rin sa, sa private, kaya na, nabili ni San Miguel. Yeah. Uh, Bakit kaya binenta? Tingin mo? Ayun, ang hindi ko maano, ano, uh, uh, Brad Pitt, hindi ko ma... <laughs> <laughs> sa safety lang ako ma... ma yung, opinion mo lang, yung opinion mo lang, uh, maganda ba yun na binenta o hindi? Well, uh, pag tinignan mo kasi sa ibang, sa ibang countries, uh, meron talaga sila... As an engineer. Sa, sa ibang countries kasi para sustainable meron talaga uh, government talaga yung ano uh, meron dapat talaga si government na sarili niya no at punta ka ng Malaysia may Petronas so, so sinasabi mo yes so hindi ta na ibinenta yon um uh, oo oh, oh, eh, mas maganda meron talaga si government yes dapat nga lahat na utilities sa gobyerno, ibalik lahat yan eh. Tubig, kuryente. Yes. Tama. Oo. Kung ako oh. lang, personal opinion ko lang, eh, mas maganda mayroon si government sa mga basic at saka sa mga utilities. Dahil uh, ano yan, uh, crime against the people. Ano, may, de may deregulation law, may deregulation law tayo eh, Brad Pitt eh, kaya... Hello. Sige Brad Pitt, uh, we can hear you. Go ahead. Hindi, yun lang, inaano ko. Uh, na dapat yung mga public utilities hawak ng gobyerno. So, yun lang, yun lang gusto kong i-share. Oh, what do you eh. think, mga guys? What do you think, guys? Sir Raila. Roy, ano? Raila. Red, red Raila. Yes. Yes, sir. What do you think? Ano po yun, sir? Ayun tong kundi sa public na, utilities, dapat hawak ng gobyerno. Tubig, kuryente, etc. Uh, in my study with law and aligning with uh, government, property, and to the 
to the point that the state will manage its own affairs regards to different what you call this uh, just oil water companies uh, that should be a, a good uh, manifestation also for the part of the government in such a way to continue its purpose creating those things in a way uh, that could establish more you know, economic input and output to their being as a government. But in our case, it's different because we are having problems dealing yeah. with the public governance itself. So to the point that the government no longer realizes a good opportunity to run all those establishments. So what they did, they, got, they, they, they go to the privatization, privatization of these uh, companies. Yes. They realize yeah. that is that good? Is yeah. that good, sir? This is that good. This privatization. For well, now, uh, privatization has able to continually uh -huh. support the the programs of the government. But of course, there are some setbacks before they come up with those realization and decision. We have not fully realized the effects. No, that, that's, what, that's why we are now facing a lot of consequences. So that's where privatization can become a good or a bad aspect. But what we can see right now, we are dealing with a lot of crisis. Probably that's a result of being privatization. So if we are just there to run all these things along the course of what public government can do, probably should not be facing the crisis right now. And we should not be dealing with what we call the elite, because the elite has taken the chance to privatize all these things. And now we are asking as a government, why are you taking advantage over the public? Yeah. And the, yeah the private no. will, will are also you, are you say Yes. Yeah. The, public, the private. So will are you saying that uh, privatization major has bad effects? Because when you privatize po yung public utilities, business lang yung ano nila. Eh. Business lang. So I think it's bad. Yung mga, in terms of sa mga public utilities, dapat gobyerno talagang may hawak niyan. Anyway, opinion ko lang yun, sir. So, naging masama epekto. That's right. Kasi nga, pera-pera lang yan pagka-private eh. Pagka-private, pera-pera lang. So, sana mabalik. Parang malayo na yung topic ko. Naging political na ako. <laughs> that's, that's the... the naman, ang tingin ko naman dyan, social, social. That's the theme Ito, sir, of... Can I play the... batin, sir? As you can see, that's huh? the theme of Tokai. Try to see our team for yeah. this year. Nandun yun. Professional Hello, sir, leadership can... as yeah. well as public governance. Nandun yun. So Good. really matters no, your your discussion is that really matters for our also our team. Ah, may, uh, very really bad. Ah, meron pa rin pala. Yeah, very really ah, bad. thank you sir. Sasagot Can I natang gusto magsalita? Eh, si, yeah, may mga salita. Si Solano. Sige, John Paul. Yes sir. Sa so, akin lang. Go ahead sir. Sa akin lang sir, it's it's not a matter of uh, privatization or uh, handled by the government. I think it's 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 a matter of uh, how you execute. Uh, just just for example, uh, here uh, the way they are doing with the utilities, power. We we are talking about power 
water and gas. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. basically, uh, uh, the execution is the government is mandating all the regulations, all the rates, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. all the price control in the market. So basically, there's a lot of private power uh, power utilities. There's a lot of private mm -hmm. water utilities. And there's a lot of gas utilities. They are following the government mandated rates. So there's a check and balance with the government. They are yeah. following all the rules. I think it's the matter of execution, not the matter of yeah. ownership. Because if if Ayun. if it is uh, regulated properly, you have a sanction. You are you are having a uh, this kind of rules or set of guidelines and it is yeah. followed because because the advantage of having a private uh utilities is you will be having a flexibility flexibility in terms of mm -hmm. uh location flexibility in terms of uh what they can offer and flexibility uh mm -hmm. it's it's more on flexibility so i think sir it's the matter of execution yeah and uh regulation for me it's not it's not the ownership because whatever the ownership when there's no proper uh, guidelines of our set of rules. There's no really a, uh, what you call this, progress. Okay. So, uh, at least yan sa Australia, may control pa rin yung government. E eh, dito, wala na. Yes, sir. Bahal, bahala na yung mga oligarchs. <laughs> And we're talking about, ano sir, we're talking about a big fine. So, malaki yung fine kung hindi ka sumunod sa rate, yeah. kung hindi ka sumunod sa regulation yeah. 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 na minamandate ng government. So, it's government yeah. over private utilities. Yeah. So, dito kasi sa atin, baliktad eh. Yung mga uh, oligarchs ang may control. So, yun ang problema. At tingin ko ang problema yung mga oligarchs. Yan ang totoong kaaway no? <laughs> natin. So, sila nagko-control lahat eh. Pati gobyerno, kinokontrol nila. So, yun, opinion ko lang naman. Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice, Brad Pitt, coming from, uh, ano mo, marami talagang views na ganyan. Eh. Kasi, I remember when we were very, very young, the largest corporation, the biggest corporation in the Philippines was National Power. Binenta rin. Binenta rin. Wala na. Wala na ang national oh. power. Nung araw, yun ang pinakamasang yes. korporasyon. Eh. 1908. Uh, yes. Peace. Lahat nung binenta, yung national steel, binenta rin. Lahat. Lahat binenta. Lahat. Nang, lahat nung yan. Lahat nung mga yan. So. Ayun. Mm -hmm. Ay, may nag-comment. May nag-comment. Paki, ano nga yung nag-comment? Sino yung nag-comment? So, so, si Galing kay Ray, Galing kay Ray uh, Simborio, Brad Pitt, uh -huh. maganda yung topic mo. It's part uh -huh. of management and system uh -huh. okay. we're in the same path at this time. Yan ang sinabi ni Ayun. Engineer Ray. Thank you. Kala ko, out of order ako. So. <laughs> maganda nga yung ginagawa mo kasi naano na natin yung programa. Eh. Alam mo, sa Friday afternoon, may marami tayong kasabay na ano pero we had you no know, no naka dumating si director dumating si congressman dumating ka at uh, yung advocacy ng Tokay eh, will always be there to be service yung kanilang si iba yung ma-recognize mo eh, yung mga magagaling sa industriya ng uh, mechanical and electrical engineering and civil and uh, uh, yan iba pa no sa mga abogado Tsaka, Ayun tsaka, na, tsaka, tsaka, eh, kaya kaya we are, kaya we are supporting you ha huh? we are uh, behind and we are supporting you we are behind you sa mga advocacies ng Tokae andito po kami ni KJ para i-communicate yung mga gusto niyo iparating sa party through our program all about safety yes Bukas wala tayong Bukas holiday. Bukas guest natin si Sir Rayla. Oo, no, bukas yan. Guest natin oh, yan si Sir Red. Oh. 
Iulitin uli natin to on na, na, na national naman may may radyo na tayo noon eh DWBL eh. Ngayon kasi pag pinasok natin hindi tayo po pwedeng madami doon sa DWBL eh. Tatlo lang ang pinakamarami o apat siguro. Eh dito marami ah, ka. Pwede. Hmm. May zoom tayo eh. Ano yung Ano yung Brad Pitt? Yes. Hindi ba pwede yung Zoom ipapasok nila dun sa DWBN? Hindi tayo malalive. Iba yung kanilang medium. Ah, hindi pwede yung live yun. Eh. O ano tayo, yung parang ah. uh, magiging ano lang tayo, recorded. E pag recorded, kukunti magiging oh, viewer natin. Nag- okay. Sige. Oh, may nag-comment na naman. Ah, basa ko yung pangalan ko. Tignan. Tignan mo ka, maka hindi ni demanda na ako niya ng... Sabi ni Gas, sabi ni Engineer Gas Agosto, maganda yan Brad Pitt. No. I did a research before on open sky policy and electric power industry reform act. On kay Engineer Gas. Teka na. Marami tayo. So na. ano po yung naging ano na sa ano po naging resulta ng research niyo sir? Sir Gas. Asa ah, andiyan pa siya? Andiyan pa. Engineer may Gas. No, sir. May we know the your research pit. Uh yes, uh <coughs> before I was in Pal, I did a research on Pal. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yun, yun nang deregulation niyo ng airline industry. Uh, before kasi hmm. di ba, Pal lang yan. Then, pag labas, oh, yan, yung pal, binenta rin yan. Yung pal, binenta rin yan. Sa gobyerno yan eh. Panahon ni ERAP. Noong panahon ni ERAP. Uh, that's the quadri regulation. Okay. Pag issue Earlier na, pa. Earlier pa. Hindi, yung pal. Kailan binenta yung pal? Um, panahon ni... Panahon na ata ni Kauri yun eh. Uh, Ramos. Ang madalas privatization, yes. panahon ni Ramos. Uh, tapos, yun. ng deregulation, it's... Uh, we study no ang ano yung impact ayun yun nang guys ano po naging ah uh, uh, binukas yung ano natin ng uh, air uh, air skies natin to other uh, kaya mm-hmm. nagsipasukan yung iba't ibang uh, airline company sa Pilipinas nawala yung national or flag carrier natin yes. no? yun yung... binenta rin no sir tapos dito po sa sa ipira po yung unbundling. Yung unbundle yan before, isa lang yan yung National Power Corporation tsaka yung mga mm-hmm. transmission. Ngayon, ng unbundling, iwalay na ang Great Corporation, iwalay na yung Napocor, which is the, the source. Then, iwalay mm-hmm. na rin po yung distribution. So, in-unbundle yun. No? Baga sa cake, Inati-hati. No? Inati-hati. Iwa, iwa. Maganda po ba yun? Maganda po ba yun? Sa naging First, resulta nun? Ang nag-power rate increase tayo. Uh, then, yun, yung yun. interlocking so, starship ng example ng primeral ko that time, sila din yung generation source, sila rin yung distribution uh, company. So, ano lang, no? na nagagawa nilang kahit idle na yung planta nila, hindi gumagana, nagbabayad ang consumer. So, that's is the one. Pero obligado daw tayo dahil uh, mayroong kontrata. So, mm-hmm. simple nga ano yan. Kumbaga, pang ano yan. Uh, daig pa yung ghost employee yan. Kung sa... Kung sa... Grabe, no? Yes. Uh, matindi po yan. So, sino ang natalo po? Sino po ang talo dyan? Taong bayan po, yung definite thing. Taong bayan. Ayun, nakakalungkot, no? So, that's a crime against the people. Yes, yes. Uh, Dapat managot sila dyan. Thank you, sir, for your... Ako, uh... alien yan, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Gas. Si Brad Pitt, eh. kita mo na dapat politiko ka na Brad Pitt eh. May... Ako, ayoko niyan. Bakit? Mata- Magulo yan. 
Ayaw ko nang magulo. <laughs> Pero, Tsaka ayaw ko nang may kaaway. Ayaw ko nang may kaaway. Ayaw mo bang maging may... Ayaw mo bang maging mayor dyan sa Marikina? <laughs> Hindi. Mayor problem. May, may, mayor, mayor. Ayaw ko. Ayaw ko ang politika. Matagal na ako pinapatakbo rito. Pero ayaw ko. So speaking Saka, mga engineers, Brad Pitt, speaking ng mga engineers yan, arkitekto lahat, oh. meron ka bang i-invite oh. na gig nila? Kasi may ilang minuto na lang tayo. Magsasara na tayo eh. Uh, ending hmm. na tayo eh. Magpo-four na eh. I will uh, take this over na kapag nabigyan ko na naman siguro magsalita na. Imbitay mo na sila sa mga gig mo. Tsaka mag... Uh, ah, may, meron kami. Mga, sa ano lang, dito lang. Wala ako ngayon sa TV. Eh. Nasa, meron kami uh, sa YouTube lang yung mga ganun. YouTube? Na, Facebook. Yes, yung The Gogfather and The Gogsters. Yan. Tapos, o para naman makapag-subscribe kami, ah, di ba? Yes, yes ma'am. Sa True ID po. True ID yung pangalan niya. Tapos True yung ID? show. Yes ma'am. Ang show po yung The Gag Father and the uh, Gagsters. Ayan, makasama ko po dyan mga stand-up comedians. Hmm. Ah, The Gag. Tapos the God. Gag. G-A-G po. Gagfather. And the Gagsters. Ayan, mga... Madaling araw yan. Pag na, ano. Kasi parang yun ba yung bibili kami na isang ticket tapos lahat kami pamilya nasa ano na ganon. Nagkakantahan kayo. Nag, ano, hindi, hindi. Uh, ano yan? Uh, libre lang yan. Ah, libre to. Sa, sa YouTube lang. Oh. Tapos Nakagawin ko rin yung part 3 ng comedy writing workshop from home. Mm. I see. Ayan. Ayan. Yung part 3 na. Tapos, bala uh, ko mag-show sa birthday ko sa May 21. So, <laughs> dito lang. Dito lang. Sa online lang. Online. Thank you. Birthday mo pala sa May 21. Yes. Pabaha ng kape dyan, tsaka keso, tsaka honey. Yes. Ano ara si Brad? Ayun lang, thank you KJ. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we have Bye about ahead, we, yeah, we have about uh, engineer Raila, engineer Polido. We have about uh, 10 minutes to go. Uh, do you want to say anything more and uh, wrap up ano paano natin uh, para meron kayo pang gustong idagdag at uh, nire-record natin ito. And then you could uh, review it again sa YouTube Ay, natin. May, may tanong ko lang ako. May tanong ko, Kajay. Oh, sige, go ahead, Brad. Wait. Kailan yung awards night and saan po gagawin? Hmm. Online po yun, uh, Brad. Pitt. Ah, online. Uh, it's okay. June, ano. Kailan na yun, Red? June, June 18. 18. June 18. June 19? 18 or, or A, ah, 18. Ah, birthday pala ni Rizal yung June 19. <laughs> Hindi pa namin ano, eh, nabuo yung program namin. <laughs> ano, yung, ano yung magiging theme? Paano yung ano? Ah, okay. Pag ano po, pag uh, face-to-face na talaga, uh, I wish... You have the opportunity to invite you and of course Sir Jay. Ah. Ah, di ba para It be an honor. Hosting naman, na ba? Ah, yeah. Face right. to face. Live. Oo nga, sana. Oo. Sa next uh, our, sa next sa next awards night, sana maluwag na and Mm. <laughs> Pwede na yung face to face na. Mas masaya, mas masaya. So iba yung online eh. So para bitin oh, na po eh. bitin but at least you were able to ano no to diversify your ano craft by yun nga yung writing workshop mo yeah Ma- mahirap for an enter- entertainer yeah. ano so kailangan malakas ka sa ano sa digital marketing so at least yes ma'am mahirap sa amin mm. ayun oh pero opportunity din yon kasi at least 
Yes. Mm. Yun na lang titignan nyo. Finding opportunity in... In the midst of crisis. Yes. In the midst of... Yes. Mm. In the midst of uh, problems and pandemic. Mm-hmm. Madami nga ang yumaman eh. <laughs> yes. Pero mas marami po yung humirap. Nawala ng trabaho. Mas maraming nahirapan kaysa yung mga nag-enjoy. Mm. Of course, yung, yung mga man yung mga delivery, mga Shopee, mga Lazada, mm. mga online na ano. Mm. Pero mas marami po ang mm. nag-hirap. Vaccine na po kayo? Hindi um, pa po. Hindi <laughs> pa po. Hindi <laughs> Mag-ingat po kayo. Po. Hindi pa eh. Po na. Hindi pa rin. Wala pa. Ewan ko nga eh. Si, <laughs> si, si Sir Jay kaya? Ah, ka na ka na ka, Jay. Eh, mga racket ko naman dito, di ba? Radyo nga. At uh, may project din ako. Kasi, ma'am, eh, Reggie. Eh, bakuna. Kung nabakuna ka, ka na. Ha? Ah? Kung nabakuna ka na raw. Ah, hindi, bakuna. Meron na dapat akong schedule pero hindi ko pa kinukuha kasi sino ba eh. So, ah, uh, ano gusto mo ba? Ano gusto mo? Yung mamahal din ang gusto mo no. Hindi naman Ay, pero yeah. kasi hindi ba yung mababa yung efficacy? <laughs> ah, mas mata ah, mas mataas yung efficacy na gusto eh, mo. Na nila yung or... efficacy. But I believe ah, I believe we could not go around that vaccination kasi darating mga contractor tayo, katulad ko, contractor ako. E pag sinabi sa akin, alimbawa, na isang oh, kumpanya na ang no vaccine, no entry, patay na. Dati, nung before na lockdown, kailangan mag-rapid test. Tapos, mag-swab test. Everything lahat. Hmm. Yun na naging, ano, naging, uh, magiging problema natin. Katulad nyo, Brad, yeah. papasok kayo ng Channel 7, Channel 2, Channel 5. Oh. Pag sinabi ko na no vaccine, no, uh, no, no PP, patay oh. na. Talaga oh, patuturok tayo. Eh, maraming issue kasi sa vaccine eh. Oo nga. Controversial din. Eh. Oh. Eh, safety tayo. So kailangan din natin sumunod kasi safety nga eh. Eh, hmm. tinitignan lang muna natin. Uh, we're yes. satisfying my time. Kung safe na yung vaccine. Oo, oh, continue siya. Kailangan yan eh. Tinitig- Tinanong nga ni Brad Pitt yan, ma'am uh, uh, Engineer Pulido sa akin nung nakaraan sa show. Yun daw nangyari sa community pantry. Uh, pan- uh, pantry, no? Okay hmm. ba daw yung community? Brad kay Pitt. Ange- kay Angel. Eh, hindi lang kay Angel ano, marami nang gumagawa niyan eh pero yung kay Angel. Oh, tignan mo yung nangyari sa India. Ah, lahat lahat, lahat lahat. Okay. Yes, India, oh. Wala na ng ano eh. Wala na ng ano, oh, halos yes. defeated na yung COVID oh, eh, baka pa na yun nila. Eh. eh nagkaroon sila ng ele- election, maraming kampanya, nagkaroon sila ng religious festival. Yung dalawang yun, super spreader yun. Eh sabay-sabay silang pupunta ron sa dagat, maliligo may impact. O ito, mabigat. Hmm. Namatay yung tao. E ba, o, mahal na mahal mo yun. Namatay, asawa mo. Hmm. Yayakapin mo. E pagyakap mo, bago, bago, ano eh, bago i-cremate o niyayakap muna nila eh. Nahawa ka rin. Nahawa ka na naman. Imagine mo, ganun yung nangyari sa Africa eh, ah. sa Ebola. Ah. Yung mga namatay, pinagyayakap uli. India. For the lost one. Ayun, naging super spreader. Kaya dapat talaga walang procession, walang gathering, wala lahat. At I remember during the lockdown, merong inisyo ang sino ba yan? Communicable CDC. Yung uh, Communicable uh, Disease uh, communic- ano yun, para sa Amerika. Eh. Na para makaiwas sa COVID, huwag kang sumakay ng public transportation. Kailangan nakamotor ka o meron kayong ano, nakabubble kayo yan, sa ano, nakabubble kayo, uh, meron kayo isang mm. kaya kaya, e eh, ngayon, sakay ka ng sakay ng public transportation. Super spreader din yun. Yan. Ano na. hmm. 
wala na 90% na yata vaccinated sa US so we're kind of safe <laughs> okay, tayo na lang na iwan <laughs> Mm. Eh, gaya nga ma'am, ganyan lang eh, di ba? Eh, mm. Marami kasi sa atin in, in terms of safety. Halimbawa, mamatay ako. May, 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 may makakapalit ba kagad sa ginagawa ko? Wala. May mga doktor na matay? Wala. Wala. Eh, ang hirap-hirap po ng board natin eh. Hirap. <laughs> ang, ang mga board mahirap eh. So dapat, eh, yung, mga bu- yung mga bumaksak noon, Tignan natin, i- 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 ano ulit, para mapalitan yung mga medical profession. Hindi lang yon yung mga nawala rin. And, uh, there are 20,000 people who died already. So it could be replenished. Anyway. So we're needing po. We're about two minutes left. So Engineer Rayla, uh, Engineer Pulido, Engineer uh, Borja, do you still have anything left? Para po, uh, bago we could wrap up the show. Uh-huh. Wala na siguro, but really, do you, uh, I have a question also for you, Jay Palikta rin natin. Uh, mm. Do you see safety uh, uh, being professionalized in the future? Like, meaning uh, that a board examination will be made available for safety officers instead of just training like five days? I think so. Kasi, pero I think so. Ako po, uh, basically speaking, bago ako naging safe consultant, eh, binaksak muna nila ako eh. So, tinatanong ko nga kung bakit nila ako binaksak kasi 1983 pa ako sa <laughs> officer. So, maraming ano. So, sabi nila, I think yung kailangan din po talaga ng ganyan mga board kasi sa, ngayon nag-aaral huli ako ng uh, yung OSHA, OSHA sa Amerika. Osh. Yeah, mm. uh, nag-aaral po ako doon eh. Kumukuha ako ng certificate doon para alam ko na iba, ito naman ako sa OSHA kasi yung planning OSHA tayo ni Brad Pitt na kung papalaring kami, baka magkaroon din kami ng safety training organization. Hmm. Si Brad Pitt, nilalakad ko nga yung kay Director Binag maging ambassador ng safety. Hindi <laughs> na si Norman, <laughs> di, di na ba? JC Di Vera ba? Si, ano na, si Brad Pitt na yung magsuot ng helmet. Pero I'm for it po na lagyan po ng isang parang Uh, ano, up, uh, another licensure examination. Uh, regulation, ano, of the practice. Hmm. Uh, ah, yeah, looking forward. So by that time, wala nang exam yung mga my 10 years siguro na, ano, kasi parang yeah, grandfather yeah. clause naman yung i-apply mo, di ba? Dapat din po, meron pa eh. Pero if I correct it, yung pag-aaral ko na itong OSHA, safety in the United States started in the 1970. So kung kami ni Brad Pitt, uh, ako, especially naging safety officer ako pag ako ng boss sa Shell ng 1983, bagong-bago pa noon. Hanggang ngayon, bagong-bago pa. Bago. So marami pa po eh. Halimbawa, mayroon kami, may mga freak accident eh na yung bang uh, may mga makina, may magnetic field, may magnet yung ilalim. Tapos, i- eh, i-uncrate mo, ibubuhatin mo, eh may magnet yung sa ilalim, mabigat, hinila yung kamay mo, na baksa ka, naipit ka. So dapat, meron doon nakalagay sa box na yon na this crate has some magnetic force. Oh, mabaksa, oh. Ano, or yeah. Meron din naman mga nangyayari, yung nangyayari no, na ito po naman in terms of economics. I remember it right, yung Pilipina shell, magsasara na siya. Pero pagpunta mo ng refinery, sasabihin mo, tinatanong kasi ng ano doon, ng uh, head ng engineering yung, ito bang crane na to, eh, kaya yung bubuhatin? Sabi namin, eh, 10%, 20% safety factor. So kung 10 tons yung kaya ng crane, eh, 9, 8 tons lang yung bubuhatin, 20% safety Ayaw. Mm-hmm. Gusto niya kung uh, eight yung bubuhatin, dapat may, ang capacity ng crane namin na kaya magbuhat, 16 o 20. Sabi ko magmamahal yan. Kasi sa abroad OFW ako eh. Pag sinabing 20% safety factor, pwede na yun. Eh, depende po kasi sa inyo. Ba tulad nyo, mga engineer kayo. Ako eh, IE ako eh. 
susunod ako sa inyo kasi sinabi nyo na yun ang safety factor eh. Mm-hmm. Kailangan ito eh. Pero dapat, alimbawa po ba sa inyo kayo, di ba sabi nyo kayo is eh, urban planner, mm-hmm. lalagyan nyo ba ho ang inyong mga rebars na di dos, di uno, mm-hmm. kung pwede namang siyang media. O alimbawa, yung eh, mga mechanical professional, mechanical engineer kayo, kila engineer Joe Ortega, may LPG pipeline, pwede nang nakalagay doon na schedule 40, sabihin na nating 80, E palalagay nyo schedule 160, ganyan na lang kalikay ang buta. Safe na, safe nga. Napakamahal naman. Ito sa system eh, na ano ko po na, si ako, yung araw nung araw, 1980, dun sa Shell, Brad Pitt, yung mga katulad nila yung mga, ano, yung mga yeah. bata pang engineer, mga bata pa eh. Laging pag nagtatalo sa whiteboard eh, wala oh. pa kasing masyadong presentation ng araw, puro white, whiteboard. Whiteboard. <laughs> Sabi, napag-aralan ko yan eh. Sige, ano ba matibay? Tubo ba o I-beam? Nagtalo-talo. Eh, sabi nung isa doon, yung pinaka civil engineer yun, na structural. Sabi niya, parehas daw. Kaya lang, depende na lang daw kung ano mas mahal. Hmm. Eh, nasunod, yung mas mura. Eh, ah. tig- huwag ganyan yung ikakagalit. Tignan niyo po yung mga mga pipeline, di ba? May pipe support. Tignan niyo po yung mga naka-support nung araw sa Shell. Angle bar, mga ganun-ganun. Ngayon po, hindi na naka-angle bar. Naka-I-beam na lahat yan. It is the design nga oh, ang binakamatindi po ngayon. Kaya ma- magandang maging professional mechanical engineer o structural engineer ngayon. Kasi, ano po eh, design eh. Pag sinabi nung Amerikano sa akin no, nung dyan sa MOA, sabi nung Amerikano, magpapanik kami ng pork tip eh. eh gumagano, nagbabibrate. Sabi ng Amerikano, hindi kita papayagan kasi lalagyan mo yan ng shoring. So, shoring namin lahat. Eh, dagdag isang milyon. <laughs> Ewan ko po. Ngayon, Joe, ano? At, uh, ba? Lumakpas na tayo. Ano pa buwa? Ano? Naging Wala na siguro. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sir J. Thank you, Brad Pitt. <laughs> For, ano, guesting us here. Uh, guesting pala si Brad Pitt. Thank you to all the ano, uh, to all the officers for joining us, uh, and then also to the awardees. Uh, I hope that uh, this will be this will continue at, until it becomes a legacy, you know, like one decade or so. Um, and then, um, alam mo yung feeling na when you become when you are being awarded of something and that you are being recognized. It's something that. It's a motivation for you to do better and to do things professionally rather than otherwise, di ba? So, uh, madaming magaling na Pilipino, yun lang. At, uh, uh, we just also need to compete uh, as to international standards and become, you know, and so that we have, an, uh, we get our niche also. Parang ganon. Hindi lang yung, lalo, lalo na sa safety, hindi lang yung, pwede na yung pwede, kasi di ba sa Pinoy they don't we are ano PPEs ganon yung mga workers so noong araw eh when I was consultant for OS aid uh, it was difficult na ikwan kasi naging culture na yung kung ano lang nakachinelas lang yung mga nagtatrabaho parang ganon so the that one uh, Uh, thank you, and uh, that, it was uh, a good discussion. Thank you, Sir Jay. I, I hope, uh, ano, hindi po ito ang maging, maging huli uh, for us to be, for, na-equest mo kami. Dito, meron din dito. Ma- ma'am, uh, picture taking muna tayo ah. bago tayo magtapos. Ah, uh, please open your video and then we would close now the our program. Could you open our video and let's all smile and then we I'll take a picture and I'll post it on our Facebook copy si uh, engineer at para ano Sige po Franky open niyo po inyong mga trato ang inyong pong mga ano at uh, so one, two, three. smile peace Okay na. Okay na. Okay na. Sabi na ating production assistant, okay na raw. 
So see you all, Dr. Red. Thank you. Uh, Engineer Polido. Yes. Engineer, Thank you, Paul. Uh, Ortega. Yes. Uh, Engineer Ranch. Bye-bye. Ray, Engineer Gas. Bye-bye, Paul. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. 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 Thank